Hey guys, so um, back again. I wanted to show you something I got in the mail today. I ordered some more stuff off eBay, <laughs> um, but it was really cheap, really cheap. Okay, nothing expensive here. Um, I like to collect things uh, outside of just toys and you know vintage toys stuff like that. I like to collect stuff from overseas, and some of the stuff that I collect when I go overseas are banknotes and coins from that respective country, and I've done that to every country I've visited except Germany. Um, Germany was the first place I visited overseas when I was still in the army. And although I used the currency there, the Dutch mark, I never brought any home with me because it didn't occur to me until when I started traveling again six years ago that it would be a fun thing to collect the local currency of every country I've been to. Uh, so I get the coin and the banknote and I had to get it off eBay because they no longer have Dutch marks. They have only euros. And the euro was being used when I when I was there for training, but the Dutch mark was still in circulation. So I just wanted to show you that, uh, what I got, guys. Okay, so this came from someone I ordered it from in the UK. So shout out to the person that sent me that because it, it came pretty early. It wasn't supposed to come until May, but luckily I got it early, all right? And I'm, I'm going to show you some of my other stuff from other countries as well and i'm just gonna uh have a little random chit chat as we do it so this is what i had already gotten uh a few years ago was the dutch mark from around the year that i was there okay but again i um even though i plan on going back to germany uh as a civilian i won't be able to get a dutch mark so i had to order it online to be able to procure one um and what i did also order which i received today is let me show you guys um is a penny or i think they call it the fennec if if my german is wrong um german speakers please correct me but this is the the coin here so a fennec from around the, the 1990s. So slightly smaller than a penny, an American penny. Okay. And when I ordered that Dutch mark, I actually got a Vietnamese banknote called the Dong for free. No jokes about the Dong. Okay. <laughs> but this is the, the Vietnamese Dong. Their currency is so low that they actually gave me a Vietnamese banknote for free. The irony is that I plan on going there anyway, so it kind of saved me from getting one. All right. So I'm going to show you some more stuff that I got. Okay. So here's a Japanese yen and the coin that goes along with it from my time in Japan, uh, specifically Tokyo. Shout out to Tokyo. Tokyo was awesome. Like every, anyone who's a, who's a nerd about martial arts or anime or video games um it, and any of that stuff you gotta go to tokyo japan in general but tokyo specifically maybe osaka as well and there's some other uh cities there that you can visit but tokyo it, it, tokyo is just a no-brainer for real guys so of course i'm going to show you my stuff from the philippines um, here we go. And I'm thinking of getting that new commemorative uh, banknote that they have right now. Okay. With the uh, Philippine Eagle on it. Because for some reason, the, the Philippine Eagle has way more sm swag than the American Eagle. <laughs> um, here's some stuff from Thailand. The, the banknote, which has the king. And good um, one thing, do not ever desecrate Thai currency in Thailand because you will get locked up because it has the face of the king on it that is considered illegal you will get locked up foreigner or not don't do that don't ever deface or desecrate um, the currency in Thailand I, I didn't do it by the way because I would never do that anyway um, but just don't do it for folks who might be stupid Okay, <laughs> that goes back into what I said before about if you're stupid don't travel overseas that's one of those things that you shouldn't do as well um, 
don't ask them to tattoo Buddha on you there because Buddha is considered sacred. So it would be kind of sacrilegious to ask for a, 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 a tattoo of Buddha. Because a lot of people like to get the tattoos because the tattoo art is so great in Thailand. As well as in the Philippines and, and Indonesia. Really great tattooing going on. But don't get that. that I, I know that's a side note, but I just wanted to mention that. Oh, and this is a, a for a, was for my cell phone so that I could use the local <clears throat> the local um, infrastructure. Thailand has some of the Thailand, if you don't know, actually has some of the best internet service outside of the U.S. Because the Philippine internet infrastructure is kind of bad, unfortunately, but in uh, Thailand, it's actually pretty good. So sometimes for foreigners who want to stay in the Philippines for a while, they might go to Thailand after their 30 days have uh, expired and then come back to the Philippines. Well, while you're doing that, if you need to download some stuff, download it in Thailand <laughs> using their internet. Okay, so here's Taiwan uh, currency, okay? And again, this was a, uh, a f I believe this was a phone card. Um, so here, this is the, the, uh, the bank note right here. And I think the, the coin has dropped out somewhere. Um, Here is Indonesia. The coin is about to fall out of this out of the slip right here. But this is from Indonesia when I was in uh, specifically Bali. But I plan to go back and from Bali do some island hopping to the other islands in Indonesia. My wife, that was my wife's idea, actually, not mine. She wants to island hop and do some hiking because she loves to hike. She's like a little Dora the, the Filipina explorer. <laughs> okay. Um... And here we go with, here's Malaysia and their coin. Okay. And that, again, that's it for that. So just an aside. So besides getting the coins, I also like to take the local martial art of that country, even if it's not in Asia, because every country has one. So when I go back to German, Germany, excuse me, I want to take German fencing which would be their local martial art, uh, since I didn't do that there. I had brought back souvenirs, though, which is another thing I like to do, bring back a souvenir from that country. Uh, but they're all gone because I brought back Witzen, Weizen, the local G German beer, and I gave it out to family and friends if I got to keep one bottle for myself, uh, which I don't really drink, but I could at least kept a bottle as a collectible. So I like to bring back souvenirs. And I like to go somewhere unique in every country. I did that in Germany, at least. So I went to the Heidelberg Castle, and that was really fun. <laughs> um, and I've done that in every other country. So I do plan going back to Europe and to Germany specifically, taking some German fencing and seeing some other stuff that I didn't get to do there. Okay. And this time, bringing back a souvenir for myself to keep, as opposed to just bringing back souvenirs for other people, as I used to do when I was younger. Okay, so thanks for watching that, guys.